Did you know that China has developed a drone that not only conducts reconnaissance and strike missions on its own, but can also deploy dozens of smaller drones mid-air? Imagine a massive flying machine high in the sky, commanding an army of mini-drones, simultaneously carrying out surveillance, electronic warfare, and strikes, all without a single soldier on the ground. The Jutian drone is not just an unmanned aircraft, it's a flying command center that could redefine the future of warfare. As you know, in today's world, where military technology is evolving at a rapid pace, drones have become one of the most strategic assets for nations. In this context, China took a significant step forward by unveiling the Jutian drone at the 2024 Zhuhai Air Show. Jutian, which translates to nine skies in Chinese, is not only visually distinct, but also carries a mission beyond the standard scope of other UAVs to become a drone mothership. This drone was developed by China's state-owned aerospace giant, AVIC, Aviation Industry Corporation of China. AVIC is responsible for advancing China's cutting-edge aerospace technologies, including fighter jets, UAVs, and air defense systems. The design of the Jutian clearly reflects China's ambition to move beyond simple drone production toward building multi-role strategic combat systems. One of the most remarkable features of the Jutian is its ability to launch dozens of smaller drones while in flight. This tactical capability is a crucial element of future warfare, as it allows Jutian to launch waves of micro-drones toward targets without entering the battlefield directly. This tactic, known as drone swarming, is engineered to overwhelm, disrupt, or disable enemy air defenses through saturation. The size and weight of the Jutian speak volumes about its scale. With a maximum takeoff weight of 18 tons, it ranks among the heaviest UAVs in the world. For context, this weight is nearly three times that of the Wing Lung 3, and more than twice the CH-6. With a 25-meter wingspan and a 15-meter body length, its dimensions resemble those of smaller manned aircraft. The drone features a high-mounted wing configuration, an H-shaped tail, and a powerful jet engine installed atop its central fuselage. The use of a jet engine enables high speeds and long-range performance, allowing the drone to operate at high altitudes, around 14.5 kilometers, 9 miles, where it is less vulnerable to ground-based threats. This makes it ideal for deep penetration missions into enemy territory, for reconnaissance or precision strikes. Jutian can carry up to 100 small drones, or approximately 2,200 pounds of munitions and missiles. Its ability to deploy this payload at high altitudes allows it to execute complex missions, such as simultaneous reconnaissance of multiple points, pinpoint strikes, and electronic warfare, all in an integrated fashion. This operational capability is on par with, and in some aspects exceeds, that of high-end Western drones like the MQ-9 Reaper or RQ-4 Global Hawk. In terms of technology, the drone is equipped with advanced sensors, including electro-optical and infrared cameras, multi-mode radar systems, electronic warfare suites, and smart targeting systems. These tools enable it to function effectively, even in environments saturated with jamming and signal interference. Moreover, its modular design allows for mission-specific adaptations, ranging from espionage and signal interception to lethal precision attacks. By serving as a launch platform for smaller drones, the Jutian elevates itself from a mere UAV to a hub for multi-domain operations. In future conflicts where real-time intelligence, simultaneous strikes, and disruption of enemy communications are key, drones like Jutian will play a decisive role. Simply put, it can see, listen, and strike, all without putting human operators at risk. From a geopolitical perspective, the unveiling of the Jutian comes at a time of rising tensions in the Asia-Pacific region, particularly around Taiwan. In such a climate, 
China requires long-range and autonomous capabilities to maintain aerial superiority. Jutian fulfills this need by participating in extended-range missions with minimal reliance on ground-based infrastructure. However, some Western analysts have voiced skepticism about its real-world battlefield effectiveness. They argue that its large size and non-stealthy design could make it an easy target for advanced air defense systems such as the Patriot or S-400. Nevertheless, China appears to be banking on new tactics like drone swarms and electronic disruption to mitigate such vulnerabilities. In final analysis, Jutian is much more than a drone. It is a symbol of China's leap into advanced military technology. It reflects a strategic shift from cheap, expendable UAVs toward multi-role, high-performance platforms that can influence the outcome of modern battles. This shift parallels what the U.S. did in previous decades with the Predator and Reaper, but China is now pushing even further. The development of the Jutian also demonstrates China's growing technical independence in designing and manufacturing complex systems. While earlier Chinese UAVs were often criticized for mimicking Western models, the Jutian shows a level of innovation and maturity that suggests a more indigenous, forward-thinking approach. Ultimately, the Jutian may become a game-changer in aerial combat. It is not merely a powerful drone, it is a flying command post, a platform that merges intelligence gathering, strike capabilities, and electronic disruption. As warfare continues to evolve, systems like the Jutian may soon take on the role of digital commanders on the battlefield. So dear friends, this was our today's video. But what do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comments section. If you like the video, do like and share it and support us. We will be back with a new video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.